Hey there, this is Piers from Crowdfunding Dojo. In this video, you'll see how you can create your own crowdfunding campaign website without any coding, tech skills, or expensive monthly fees, and yes, in just a few minutes. So let's get started. My main goal in this video is to show you just how quick, easy, and cheap getting yourself a website can be. You can skip wasting months researching and procrastinating and getting into analysis paralysis like so many of the people that we come across. That's time that you're far better off using to build an audience. To avoid getting sidetracked, we've put all of the reasons for our choices and how to customize this for your own campaign in the links on screen and down below. Ideally, you'll just copy what I do on screen and get yourself a working website in the next few minutes. If you follow along, then even if you end up having to pause a lot, at the end of this, you'll have a working website and be months ahead of the game, just as long as you commit to making it happen right now. So let's begin. So we're going to go through to crowdfundingdojo.com and click on this resources menu. From there, we'll click on the link to HostGator because we found they're just the cheapest, quickest and easiest. And I'll click get started now. I'm going to choose 716 a month because it's just a one month demo. You can choose a cheaper, longer option if you wish. I'll click sign up now and enter our details, including the name of the website that we want people to put in their web browsers. As long as it says added primary, you know that it's available. Now, if you see it's only one cent for the first month there, that's because we've put in this discount coupon, crowdfunding, clicked validate before clicking checkout now. On the next page, they're going to ask us to confirm our payment details. As long as they're all correct, we'll click pay and they're going to send us an email. It's just a simple case of clicking on the link in the email and entering the username and password that they send you to. We'll click login. From here, we're going to install WordPress, the world's most popular web publishing software, by clicking on this link, Fantastico Deluxe and then clicking WordPress and new installation. We'll choose the name of the website we're working on and create a new username and password to edit our site and put in our email address for notifications, just the name of the project and then we'll just enter in a very short description, short enough to fit in that box there before clicking the next button. Then it's just one more button click and it's done. Now if we click this link here and enter in the username and password we just created, that's going to take us to where we can edit our site. We'll start by creating a category like a link where people can see the latest news and updates. I'm going to edit the name of that just to news. You can call it updates or blog or whatever you like. Click to update that. And now let's change the look of our site by adding a new theme. I like the Ward theme because it's very flexible and it looks good on phones, tablets and computers. So I'll just install that and activate it to use it. And then click Customize to change how it looks on our site. Now first, I want to make sure there's no sidebar distracting people from signing up to our mailing list. And I'll also make the content 100% of the width of the screen. Now let's change this jumbo headline to the name of our project and enter our tagline in underneath. After that, I'm going to go through and we want to make it that we're using a static page so that everyone who comes to the website basically just sees a page that we've created. I don't like these extras under here distracting people they're called widgets, so I'm going to save this, go down to widgets, and then I'm just going to drag each of these off to the left to make them disappear. After that, let's edit that uh, sample page that we just put on the front of our website. We'll just click down here and edit. I'm just going to select all the text, paste in a couple of paragraphs that I wrote, including a headline, which will just move up to the top here. And then let's stick in a couple of images, maybe a product image and a button. There we go, we'll just get them off our computer. 
Now, we have it when people click on the product image, it doesn't actually go anywhere. So let's just change that to none. The button, however, we want to go to where they can join our mailing list. I'll show you how to do that in the next video though. So let's just click that, cut, we'll click where we want to put it, paste, select it, and center it. Now I think we're pretty much done, so let's just save this page by clicking update and see how it's going to look to the rest of the world when they come to our website address. And there you have it, your very own project website. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your site to start turning your website visitors into project backers. I'll also be showing you how you can get for free the critical piece that most people end up paying hundreds of dollars a year for. I'll see you there. Get the latest battle-tested strategies to fund your crowdfunding project for more, including your guide to the top 10 free crowdfunding tools, over at crowdfundingdojo.com.